Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerardo and I love hair. Today I'm going to be reviewing to you guys a new hair gel because I ran off of my extreme wet line gel. So I went down to my supermarket and I found a hair gel from a brand that is sold down here in Panama and it's the Bioland Linseed Hair Gel. So this isn't a sponsor review, I made it a new hair gel and why not review it for you guys? Maybe you like what you see. So if you want to know how I got all of this and my thoughts on the Bioland gel, stay tuned. Today I'm going to be reviewing this gel from the brand Bioland and it's a linseed gel. And I don't know if you guys know, I'm um, from Panama and in Panama we receive many products from Latin America. So this is a brand from Costa Rica and they do vegan and um, very clean products natural based products and I've been using their products for quite a while and the other day my trusty wet line stream gel is completely empty <laughs> you know it's a huge stuff but it's completely empty so I decided why not try the this brand that it's um that I find it very easy as extreme wet line I'm on my store just to try something different I don't know if you guys, wherever you are, you can find this kind of, uh, this brand in particular, or this kind of, of gel, but I'm going to try and find on, on Amazon, based on the ingredient list, if I can find you a similar product, not the same, but a similar product for you guys to find out, but I've never tried this, and we'll see how, how it goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wash my hair really clean i've been dealing with some um, product build up after the after the crochet follow-up uh, and you can i'm gonna leave a link here for you guys if you want to see how i install those um, crochet locks um so yeah um i just wash my hair and i'm gonna put um, leave-in conditioner and I'm going to be using the same products I've been using before my Cantu um, leave-in conditioner and my Cantu coconut curling cream um, and now I'm going to divide my hair so if you guys have never seen me well, my routine maybe this time I will do <laughs> a more in-depth on my routine um, Initially, I divide my hair into around here. So I grab two to part and I clip this part. I don't put any conditioner on, 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 on my hair yet. I prefer to put it individually on each section of hair as I go um, while styling. And my hair after the crochet locks it feels uh dry for some reason i think it's just uh, a lot of uh, nutrients probably i didn't put uh, the right products when installing the crochet locks um, or maybe it's just my hair and the weather um who knows um so i'm just gonna my hair is damp but i like to keep my hair uh, wet so what I do is I just spray water on my hair just to wet it very well. Um, yeah. So this brand, um, yeah, I've been using this brand for for a while now. I've used I'm using their their conditioners and I've used their shampoos. I have used. Um, their oils, they also have um, some oils and serums for finishing your your, your styling 
Um, but I've never used their their gel. Um, I was thinking of using it just to gel my hair, but I'm gonna give it, you know, the the right testing. I'm gonna use my products with the with the gel. See if my products actually uh, behave well and, and and they don't have flake with with the gel. So here, what I do is I just section my hair. I take very little sections of hair. And I clip the part that I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna be styling right now. I grab the section I'm gonna style. I run my fingers just to the finger detangle it because it's already detangled from, from the shower, but I'm just gonna run my fingers through. I just like to be sure that all the hairs are combed through. grab a little bit of conditioner, leave-in conditioner, put it on, if it's very detangled, I probably won't need to detangle it more in my white tooth comb, but it's fine. A little bit of the curling cream, and as you can see, I'm using just one hand. I don't really, I don't really spread it on my hands like this. It just depends on me how I'm doing. If you feel it's easier for you to spread it on your hands and they just put it through the hair, it's fine. This is just how I normally go through. Um, I make sure I put product on all my hair. You see, I'm going through all the sections. And now, Let's see the gel. So this gel says um, it's a linseed gel and um, it says it's for um, extra hold, uh, extra strong hold, strong hold the gel. And it nourishes and moisturizes deeply the hair, the hair. And it leaves no, no residues. And That'll be it. It has no salt, no sulfates, no parabens, no artificial colors, and it's vegan. I think it's vegan. Yeah, it's not tested on animals. It's completely natural and it has no ingredients that comes from animals. So let's see how it sticks. Oh, it's very thick. It's, it's a very thick yeah, gel. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's an extra hole. I'm gonna use this this much if I'm a little more. You should like it. You know. I really like using gel on my on my hair because um I live in a very tropical country. The weather here tends to dehydrate um, and freezes off. Uh, the, the hair because of the high humidity. So I'm going to run through my section with the gel and it feels, um, feels, it feels softer, it's smoother than, than the wet line cream gel. Like it's actually more moisturizing. Yeah, it's more moisturizing. It's not a thick I know when you see the wet line stream gel, it's not, it doesn't look this, this thick, but this one, once it touches the hair, it feels smoother. Um, um, yeah, I don't know how to explain that. Um, yeah, it feels smoother, and my hair doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be getting stiffer. That's, that's Basically, it doesn't, it doesn't feel stiff. So I put gel on all of it, and I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm I put enough um, because normally my ends will look stiffer with the wet line string gel. Uh, with this one, it's very smooth. So let's just just gonna rub a little more, just for for being sure. 
Do some more. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. And I'm gonna grab my goody brush and I'm just gonna go through the section again, just combing it. And this side, I like to position my brush um, here. Put my hand on the back of the brush, grabbing the hair, and I just pull up and I slowly twist my wrist, giving the ribbon feeling to the hair. And you can see now the rings are defined. So I'm just gonna push them a little bit and let it fall. So I'm going to grab another section here and we're going to do the same. Like I said, uh, this gel it just feels different. It feels different and my hair looks slightly different, more, more um, there is not a as, as thicker clumps of hair as, as it normally is. Mm. Uh, but yeah, uh, it says in the back of the label that it, it has vitamin E and omega 3. And supposedly it will um, nourish my hair. Uh, and giving it a natural uh, shine. I don't really know. I, I <laughs> what I, I expect from my gels is just to give me a good hold and for my curls to actually last um, a very long time during the week. And with the screen wet line, that's what happened. Um, so I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm looking at my curls. And they they are looking all right, but it's maybe me that it's because it's the first time I'm using this gel. I don't really have the hang of how how much I should be using. So let's try it again. Remember, I just put my leave-in conditioner, then my curling cream. And now I'm going to use the Violan linseed gel. I'm gonna use this time this much and I'm not gonna put any more because maybe I'm using too much. You see it's, it's it's thick but it's also watery at the same time. I'm just gonna run it through my whole section making sure all my hair is saturated with the gel. And now I'm gonna grab my brush, run it through this section a couple of times, and now I'm just gonna style and put my brush here in the root, put my hand in the, in the back of the brush, and I just slide it up, slowly twisting my wrist until I reach the end and I just let it fall. And now I grab the same section and just for safe measure, I'll crunch it. So this is how the curls are looking right now. Um, they're very airy and I don't know if it's any good um, for my hair uh, because I'm accustomed to feeling them very um, unified and, and, and a slightly heavy from, from the product. This, this one look, looks good, but it's, it's airy. It's airy. So I'm gonna do the rest of my head and maybe 
finish the front with you guys here and maybe talking a little bit more while some I'm already um, a little bit in depth in this, yeah. <laughs> so, see you guys in a video. So now that I'm here, that I'm going to do the front section of my hair, what I do is I look at myself, of course I'm in a mirror, but I'm going to be using the monitor of my camera. Grab my hair, and the way I section is I look at my at the top of my eyebrow, and I make a parting, just going slightly inside, just like a little triangle, slightly angled towards the center of my head. So I just go like this, and I grab a section, and you can see this section is a little bit like a triangle. So this section is the one I'm gonna work in with. And I just clip this one away. And now, because this section has been waiting all this time for me to go back to her and she doesn't have any product, anything, and no leave-in conditioner, nothing, just fresh out of the, water, of the shower, I have to rehydrate this hair. And I have found out that my hair really likes to be styled on very wet. So when it's, it's the wettest, that's the best time for me to actually style my hair, which is hard because you also don't want to overuse a lot of water. You you want to actually you want your products to actually penetrate the hair instead of just water because hair is intimately made out of water. Water just makes the cuticle of the of the of the hair strands to open for your products to actually penetrate inside. So that's why your hair uh, feels heavier when it's wet, it's because it, it's swollen. So now that I am wet, I section, I make this section into two, trying to make them a, a, a similar size. Uh, yeah, so I just Leave this section I'm not gonna use yet. I'm not gonna style. And I grab the one and I continue. So I'm gonna show you guys the list of the uh, of the gel, the list of the ingredients of the gel. Maybe you guys will find wherever you are a gel similar to this one. Um, so it says on the on the ingredient list that it's made, of course, made out of water. Uh, it has some carbomer and agar, which are, um, which make the consistency, made the gel that consistency, the gel-like consistency. Um, and it has some oils from linseed. It has um, pomelo, which is like, um, Citrus fruit is citrus fruit. Uh, it has rosemary. It also has argan oil, marula oil, and coconut oil. So now I understand why why it's so soft on on the hair instead of of, of that dry, heavy uh, of other other gels. Which I can only make the comparison with Extreme Wetline, since the only one I've been, I've been using and, and I figure out it works on, on my hair. 
But maybe this one is a, is a good, uh, will be a good find. Uh, you know, um, it has glycerin, carotene, uh, well, the, the normal preservatives, uh, scorbic acid, um, and it's, yeah, I feel like it's, So far, um, I'm not convinced, but I, I think it, it just it just makes it has a different finish on the hair. So we'll see if I if I like it eventually. Um, in terms of smell, uh, you see it's very thick. In terms of smell. It really doesn't smell like anything, just like soap. It smells clean. Yeah, it has a, a clean smell. You know what smell is when I say clean. It's, it's that um, soapy and, and, and clean, clean, clean scent. Um, so it's a nice, it's a nice scent. Uh, because uh, for me, for example, I whenever a product it's it has a lot of perfume of oh, um, it's upsetting for me and, and, and it's slightly annoying for, for it to have a lot of perfume. I don't mind the the, the scents, I don't mind the, the perfume, but if it's too much, it's overpowering. And every product has a different scent, so you sort of have to mix them up just to smell, uh, not to be overwhelmed with, with the scent. So once I apply the gel, I run with run, do the section with my brush just to comb the hair and position them where I'm gonna eventually finish styling. So I'm combing off. So I want a little bit of volume. Grab my brush, put it at the base of my root, put my hand in the back of the brush, and I just run my brush through the section but see I'm twisting my wrist as I go and I just let it fall and this is how the section comes out of brushing and I'm gonna grab this twist and let it fall and that'll be it and I'll just continue doing that on the rest of my hair. So let's review that little, that last part. I my hair is wet, damp towards wet because it's not not super wet, but it's it's um, very damp. Um, I grab my leave-in. Grab my leave-in and I run it through the section. Very well. I like finger detangle what I'm section with I'm working in the section. Um, so I work that product in the leave-in conditioner and then I come again and do the same thing with the Tyler, the curling cream, the coconut curling cream. And again, I try to make sure that all my hair has product on. And then sometimes I twist the ends just to give them a little, little shape. It trains the hair. And now I grab the new gel I'm using and for this section this will be you know spread it on my hands especially on my finger and I grab this section and I work the gel in the hair one of the reasons I work the hair inside hair is because I like my hair to be clumped together. So I figure out that the way my hair uh, behaves, this is the way it, it works right. So 
but I make sure that my whole section of hair has product on, wrap my brush, I run it through the hair to detangle it very well, I pull up with my brush, I brush it one last time again, putting all the hairs forever out where I want them to be. Here I have a little hair that's coming out, I'm going to put it in the section. And now I grab my brush, put it at the base where my roots are, put the back of my hand into the brush, and twisting my wrist, I comb through the section, essentially forming ringlets. Now you see these are the curls. And I just grab this section and I just squish it a little bit and I let it fall. So I just gonna finish this back section and I'll be back to show you how it's, how, uh, it's looking with this gel. So yeah, I'm done. Um, my hair, let me see in the mirror. It's living, it's behaving, interacting a little weird with the shampoo curling and Some of my hair are very greasy. But this one, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of gel just for safe measure I'm gonna grab this much instead of going through every single section I'm just gonna run it through the hair and top wherever I feel like it's you know slightly busy just to give it a little boost those two sections. I don't want to disturb much what I have done with the brush. I'm just going to run through all of those like this. And because I still have to on top, I'm going to squeeze all my hair again. And I'm going to slide. So that'll be it. Um, yeah, this is how my hair is looking. I think it looks fine. It looks defined. Um, I'm gonna be back when it's dry. I'm gonna diffuse um, because I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna give it a chance of um, seeing how the gel behaves. With the diffuser. Uh, it'll probably work well if uh, I air dry, but most products uh, work well when you don't do anything to it, you just let it air dry. And lately I've been enjoying diffusing because it's awesome. And so I'll be back with the final results and my final thoughts on the Violan Linseed Stronghold Gel. <laughs> Hey.
Ao bag. Um, this is how my hair looks. Derpy, really dry. Let's see if I can show you how the curls are looking. I haven't really fluffed it, so this is how much it, it holds. It, it doesn't make a strong cast. It doesn't feel hard. It feels very soft. It's a soft hold. It's a strong hold, but it's, a, it's soft. So I have two little clips. My two little clips inside my hair, so I'm taking it out. Now I'm going to. And I'm going to use my serum just to finish it off. And see how this gel made my hair look. So let's do this. I haven't really seen myself until I'm sitting now in, my, in the little monitor of my camera. So um, I have to see in detail later in the mirror. But let's see. I feel my hair is very soft to the touch and fluffy. Oh. oh, oh my god, it looks, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's very light, uh, my hair looks huge, um, so I still feel a little bit of the hold from, from the gel, but my curls, I mean, they look very, Fine and with lots of volume. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a very, a very nice discovery for me with this gel. Um, so, is the Violan Linseed Gel um, great? I think it is. Um, I'm gonna try and find you guys based on the on the ingredient list um, uh, an option version if you could find it if I could find it on, on Amazon because I know you cannot get everywhere uh, BLN that's what I think but uh, um, if you're in, in Latin America I think you should actually try this gel I mean look at my hair let me show you the back I don't know if it looks great or not, if it's a little frizzy. Maybe over here it's a little frizzy. Anyway, but I, I don't mind. I don't mind the frizz. I just think it just makes it look huge. <laughs> and I like the volume. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get you guys uh, a substitute for this one and based on the ingredient list. At, at least to see if, if, if there's another product that is similar to this one based on the, on the ingredient list. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Uh, you can follow me on all my social medias uh, at Panacurls. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.